42 and uh, these two players Roland Holder and Kirtley Ambrose have added 43 and there's no touch of panic about Pakistan's cricket but uh, just a little problem or two that uh, suddenly they could see that the uh, runs needed were reducing very quickly it's now 81 from 95 and the run rate required is uh, still below that uh, awful figure of six as far as the batting side is concerned and the lights look okay now and they've all come back on uh, there were one or two gaps in one of them I'm looking at now there's still a gap or two there might even be like uh, one of your light bulbs blows in your hallway that's a little uh, more difficult than that but they do provide tremendous light here and on other grounds around australia now here's the first ball after the resumption zach lane mushtak and he's brought into kirtley ambrose First one straight off the middle for Kirtley Ambrose. It's a plain Mustak. He's bowled particularly well. He's in his eighth over, no wicket for 22. He hasn't provided uh, any loose deliveries. Just the one wide down the leg side. A little uh, break in proceedings as a result of the lights going out would have provided both teams with the opportunity to sit down and discuss how things were going. It'll be far more nerve-wracking for the batting side than it is for the bowling side. West Indies dropping behind considerably now. Pakistan uh, at around about this stage. Lost those two wickets, but then had a good increase towards the end. Run rate required, slipping up to around about five and a half and over. Seven for 87. Ida Freedy is continuing from the members' end. He is in his fifth over, has no wicket for 13. And the situation now getting very difficult for West Indies. That run rate slipping up to around about five and a half and over. What? Whilst ever there's wickets in hand, there's a possibility of West Indies coming right back into this and pulling off what will be a very, very good victory. is having a good look around the field he's pinpointed the man at deep backward square the one at deep mid wicket there are three others out on the boundary long on long off and deep point that's the quick one a lot of wrist in that delivery wrist very flexible ambrose has seen it a couple of times now 
plays it pretty well. That was one of his better strokes. Tremendous bounce. There's uh, an extraordinary amount of bounce from this pitch. He's a quickish leg spinner. Yeah, that ball got up uh, between waist and chest high with uh, Mo and Khan. Now there's runs here. So that'll just show you where that one bounced. That uh, hit Mo and Khan in the chest. Well, it's not normal bounce. That's the problem with it. Oh, well done. A beautiful delivery from Shaida Freedy and Roland Holder. Played all around it. That's the breakthrough that Pakistan needed. Well, it may have been uh, the lights going off, or it may have been just a brilliant ball from uh, Afridi. Oh, it is a cracker. It's just kissed the outside of the off stump on the way through. A beautiful piece of bowling. I can tell you that young fellow will be a hero in Pakistan at the moment. Don't uh, worry about out in the field with his teammates. Back in Pakistan, he will be top. It's 8 for 89. Courtney Walsh. Courtney Walsh, the West Indies captain, makes his way out to the centre. And into the commentary box now, Bill Laurie, and with him, Michael Holding. Thank you, Greg Ritchie. Yes, Younger Fruity's done it again for Pakistan. Rowan Hodder, I thought, played a superb short knock here. But this one really did fizz off, held its line, maybe a top spinner. Just took the outside edge of the this off stump. It was queen bowled. This young man uh, just breaking a very dangerous partnership. Ronald Holder hasn't played a lot of cricket this summer. But with a lot of determination and common sense until this one got through his defence. Now it's Ambrose on strike. That was the over bowl. So claims the bowler from the southern end. And good evening, Michael Holder. Good evening, Bill. Currently Ambrose has been the man doing the scoring. In that partnership with Roland Holder, and now that Roland Holder has departed, I would think currently Ambrose just might start playing even a few more shots than he did before. That's true. He should get one. They're looking for a second. Walsh not coming back. And yes, well, Kirtley Ambrose has shared what uh, courage and determination is all about. He's bowled beautifully this afternoon. And now carrying injuries, he's fought very hard. His top score on 24. Captain Courtney Walsh takes guard, umpire Peter Parker. Two. Just get the feeling that it will end very quickly. Was an Akram there at first, so he brings in Inzman Al Hock to Sibley Point for Sukhain. It's a backward point cover in the mid off on the offside. On the onside, mid wicket, backward square leg, deep mid wicket, and a long arm. Sukhain gets to claim a wicket this evening. My word, Moen Khan's been busy. He really has set the field of light here this afternoon and this evening. Brilliant with keeping, good batting. It's been a very much part of this great effort by Pakistan. Oh, 
Got in, bowled in. Nice fight. Walsh trying to sweep it away. The pain owns a wicket. That's the ninth down. That's nine for 90. Well, it took them quite some time to start getting wickets again. Pakistan, but now that they have started to get wickets, they are coming very quickly. Well, flight to deliver from Sakin. Courtney Walsh ball behind his legs. Ball pitching just inside the line of leg stump and carrying on and hitting leg stump. No spin at all on that delivery. And Wazim Akram has found a new dance. It's the celebratory dance. Another duck for the West Indies. Nine for nine. Number 11, Cameron Cuffey comes to the crease. It's all over by the shouting one feels here at the MCG, despite the fact that Ambrose is 24 not out. These young spinners doing the job. This was a beautiful delivery. It was up. It fired it. He went to sweep it. Just kept going. Held its line. Took the leg stump. Ambrose clean bowled for duck. And once again, Sakane Walsh, in fact, showing his skill here. There it goes. Just takes the leg stump. Just cleans the whistle. Walsh bowled around his legs for a duck. Well, the target was 166. It was never going to be easy, but they've made hard work of it, the West Indies, due to the excellent performance of the Pakistani bowlers and fieldsmen. It's been a first-class performance by Pakistan. Slipping the gully in now. Throws it up and he beats him. Well, he just threw it up. It was a slow drifter. Doesn't find the outside edge. Cameron Cuffey, obviously a true number 11. Swing and a miss. One run on the wicket. It's a fine, it's nine for 90. One wicket away from a great victory in the Carlton United series. A two new result for them. They've outplayed the West Indies in all departments. Ambrose 24 not out on strike. Goes to 25. Freedy gets onto leg stump. Cameron Cuffey, one would think would be easy pickings for this young spinner who's certainly been a delight to watch for Freedy. He's energetic with the bat and in the field certainly added a new dimension to the Pakistan attack. 11 wickets in the series. Shahid Afridi, that's a wonderful performance. There's a quick one. Big shout off the pad. They'll get a leg by at least one. One leg by. That was quick. Freedy's quicker deliveries are, have not really been too much on target of late. You can see that was a quicker delivery, just slanting down the leg side. It does tend to come in with the arm, that quicker delivery from Afridi. It's 
brings Kirtley Ambrose back on strike. And he's smiling. This is top scored. He's bowled well. Look at his high score. This is 26. Just watching Kirtley Ambrose limp around out there, Bill. I think it's a matter of wanting all and losing all with him. Yes, for the test match starting next at the Adelaide Oval, they went for the victory here with Ambrose. He wanted to play. With the equation now 5.91 with just one wicket in hand. 73 runs required. Got an inside edge on that. Squeezes the way for single. Yes, it's a big price to play if Ambrose doesn't come up for the test match. But he showed once again that he's a player with tremendous courage and spirit for his team and his country. Four off the over. Nine for 94. Off his 10th and final over, he has 1 for 24 off 9. Goes away, may scramble through for what should be a leg by. Back to come off the glove. The bounce there. Gets a run. Good turn here for Sacklin again. Good bounce. Off perhaps the handle of the bat or the glove and just popping up behind square. At least that's another run for Cameron Coffey. Another international run. And those forces down to run off, just a single. And that's his highest score in one day the national Kelly Ambrose. Sharing everything here at the MCG tonight. Ambrose's top score. Cameron Cuffey is a true number 11. He's got the right idea, but not quite put back to ball. Given a plenty of air, claim, bounce as well, held its line. Swing and a miss. And swinging in the direction that most tail enders swing in towards mid wicket. Perhaps if he tried to hit it a bit straighter, just might get the bat on it. It's well bowled. Beautiful young bowler. He's had a wonderful uh, series. 17 wickets in the series for Sakai. This is his final delivery. 9.5 overs, 1 for 26. That's a scry. Not out. The over bowled. Nine for ninety-six. Brady. 
beats Ambrose. He's in a lot of strife there. And this is a real worry for the West Indies with the Test match starting next Saturday. Out to that oval. 70 runs required off 65 deliveries. Another single. They certainly would fancy a fruity against Cuffey. He gets it right. Doesn't try to overdo the quick delivery. He gets plenty of bounce with his normal leg break. I'm Rose and Cuffey at the moment. Just pretty much delaying the inevitable. Well played. That's the single. But as they say, once there's life, there's hope. Not much hope with these two batsmen at the crease, though. Ambrose and Coffey, a long, long way to go. Oh. Ambrose coming well forward. In the fieldsman around Kirtley Ambrose. Swing. And it's away to a square leg. They're through for one. And they come back to the second. Brings up the 100 for nine. Three figures for the West Indies. At 42 for seven. Not many people thought that the West Indies would get this far. Yeah, the bold, well blocked by Kelly Ambrose. It's nine for 100. I'm at the court. We'll tell you what I'm telling you. It's time to get the shake. The win of the 1500 dollars in cash and prize. It's Toyota's best planning competition. Put your pity cricket with to the test. Each international game this season, General Nine will be choosing the wittiest banner. There's $250 cash for each winner. Add a Toyota logo, and you'll get $500 and a cricket game for the Congratulations. Welcome back. That's the situation. The West Indies need 66 with 60 balls to be bowled, and Wacky Yunus coming back into the attack to bowl his seventh over. He has the one wicket that of Murray or Duck, LBW, and normally bowls beautifully to our order batsman. Usually at this stage of the game that you see Wakar Yunus getting those reverse swings, those big in-swinging Yorkers to the right-handed batsmen. Well, I would bet that if he gets one on target to Cameron Coffey, it will be all over. Cuts it in the air, safely away. <laughs> Single to backward point. I'm not sure where he's trying to hit that originally, but he got some bat on it. Cuffey enjoying this. And he's just happy to get it away. Coffee was just doing what he sees the top batsmen do, give himself a bit of room and punch it away on the offside. from Kirtley Ambrose, good call by Umpire Parker. Ambrose and Bakar have had their battles already in this game. Ambrose won, won the battle when he had the ball in his hands. Now the roles are reversed. The Ambrose is batting though, he just might win this battle again. Single. He has a chance to warm up now. He should be in that Yorker in at the number 11. And then Cuffey around about the middle and leg. And we bowl so straight.
Got in, and that's it. Pakistan, great victory. Black and Eunice bowls Cuffey. They're all out for 103. And a very good effort by Pakistan defending 165 runs. They've won convincingly here in front of 24,000 people. Certainly the best team in this series. Congratulations to all the Pakistani players. They're certainly have played very consistent cricket, the Pakistan team. They lost the first game that they played against the West Indies way back in Adelaide. But since then, they have been playing very, very good cricket. Was the Makram, the man being caught, congratulated there by all his teammates. He certainly led them well, led them from in front, bowled well, even with injuries. Done a very, very good job. And Wakar Yunus just getting the ball online. That's what they were looking for at this stage of the game, those big in-swingers. And all over. He has a stump for all his hard work as well. And that's exactly what they were looking for. In swing in Yorker, full pitch into the stumps, all over. Yes, he gets it right, swings in ways, takes middle and off stump. And that's the end for Cameron Cuffey. But a wonderful performance by Pakistan. They really did bowl and field well. And full credit to Mohan Khan. I thought he led them beautifully in the field. Two magnificent catches. And the captain, of course. Was an Akron bowling superbly, certainly the best fast bowler in the world, a magnificent bowler and a very good captain. He's had a wonderful series both on and off the field. He's been a great ambassador for Pakistan, as has Courtney Ross, of course, for the West Indies. It's been a good series, but in the end, I certainly feel as if the best side has won. They've won it easily, 2 0. And the best side, although they haven't got all their players available here, for this 1996 97. Some are here in Australia, but they certainly have made up weight with those youngsters coming into the team and pulling their weight. They haven't carried any passengers on this team, Pakistan. All that have been asked to do a job have done it and done it well. Ijaz Ahmed Sr. led the team on the other occasion when Wazim Akram left the field. Tackling, brilliant work by this Pakistan team. Very difficult for any team to beat them when they are playing well and when all their cricketers are available. Yes, they left that Mushtaq today, brought in Shahid Nazir, and he took three for 14. The young man did a great job, picked up Brian Lara for 19. That was probably the end of the case there. A very happy man, and why not? So Hale's done a great job. Everybody's made a contribution. The West Indies fought hard, but in the end, their batting wasn't good enough against probably the most varied and best attack in the world. Take a short break here at the Melbourne Cricket Ground and come back with Richie Benno. Thank you. 